guys, welcome to my 2018 Christmas hair tutorial. This year I wanted to challenge myself. As you may know, finger waves and just 20s hair in general is the bane of my existence. <laughs> it is something I struggle with so much. So I wanted to challenge myself today and have another go at finger waves. And today I'm actually going to do a cheat way to achieve these finger or kind of Marcel waves. So we're actually going to use a curling iron and if you want to know how to do this hairstyle, really pretty sleek style for the holidays, then be sure to keep on watching. To start out, I am going to separate out my parting, which is going to be pretty low because that gives the most kind of vintagey vibes. So I'm going to start pretty much about above the arch of my eyebrow. Separate that out. And then I'm going to go to about the same level on the other side of my other eyebrow. I'm going to gather all of that and clip it away in a bun right on top just for now while I work on the rest of the hair, which is going to create the chignon. So all of the rest of my hair, I am going to, let me just take off my glasses for a second here. I'm going to brush back into a sleek low ponytail. Take a hair elastic and I'm going to tie this off and then when I have my last little loop here I'm going to just pull the hair through a little bit but not all the way so that it creates a little bit of a beginning of a chignon here just gonna make this a little bit bigger and this is really the time to adjust how big you want to make your bun so this is going to be my bun right here and then all of the rest of this hair, I'm just going to take that and wrap it around the hair elastic that I have here. And then pin this with a few bobby bins to make sure it lasts. Okay, so there is your basic little chignon. And now it's time to work on the actual faux finger wave slash Marcel wave part of the hairstyle. So I'm gonna do it on this little portion of hair. So this is the hair that is going to be heat styled. So I am going to spray it with a heat protector. Just gonna brush this through to make sure the product is distributed evenly. So now I'm gonna give this a couple of minutes to completely dry before we move on to the next step. So I'm going to work in a couple of sections here. I think about three should be good. So I'm gonna start with the lowest section first. I'm gonna separate that out. So the other two thirds I'm just gonna clip away again. Basically what we want to do is create the illusion of a finger wave without actually finger waving the hair. So what we're going to do is take a curling iron that has a clip and we are going to alternate the direction in which this is placed on the hair in order to kind of recreate the S waves made on wet hair with hands. So it's a little bit of a cheat method, a little bit easier to do on yourself. I find that traditional finger waves are really hard to do. And I'll be completely honest, I haven't managed to do a good set of finger waves yet. So I'm going to start with one curl with the clip pointing up. And I'm going to push down my hair quite firmly on the curling iron and then let go. And I'm going to hold it here for a few seconds just to give that curl the opportunity to cool down a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to flip my curling iron around and have the clip on the lower part. And I'm going to this time hold it just below that wave that we just made and I'm going to pull all of my hair up and then release and again hold this for just a few seconds give the hair the opportunity to set and wrap the hair around the bottom now while you're doing this you want to make sure not to pull on the top of the hair the part that's already curled or you're going to lose everything you've already done Now, it's honestly up to you how far you want to keep going. I'm going to keep doing this 
until the curled hair is long enough to reach into the chignon that I have in the back. So I think I need to do at least one more round. And you can already tell how we're getting that gorgeous 20s wave pattern going on here. So I'm going to grab the end tail of this, bring it back to the chignon, and I'm just going to pin it down there with a hairpin, just temporarily while I work on the rest of the hair here. All right, so time to move on to the next third of hair I have here. Now, what you do want to keep in mind is that we are starting a little bit further away now. So what we're actually going to do is this time, instead of starting with the barrel down clip up, I'm going to start with the clip down and the barrel up. Just so that we hopefully match up with the curl underneath in the next round. Now this bit is a bit trickier for me personally, just because I'm trying to incorporate my bangs in here as well. I'm going to try and make it work. Now, of course, it is up to you how deep you want to make these waves. Um, a smaller curling iron will give you a bit of a more authentic 20s effect. But you know, it all depends on what you have available and also how far away you space these waves out manually. Now it's time to do the last one. So this time I'm going to start with the barrel down clip up again. Alright, so now we have all the waves. Take down the previous two. First make sure they kind of all align with each other so that you get a uniform curl pattern in here. Okay, so now that we have the basic curl pattern in, it's going to be much easier to do the actual finger wave. So I'm gonna take my comb again. And the first wave is rather easy to identify because it's, you know, on top, obviously. So I'm basically going to take this indentation, place my finger in there, gonna place my comb next to my finger and push it back like that and place my finger there again. And I'm going to take a duckbill clip and I'm going to slide it in right where this finger is and take over there. So then I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing with the next wave. I'm going to Slide my comb back in and push forward first, because this one was going back. And then take another finger and push back. Get a clip in here. So then with all the hair that is remaining at the end, I'm just going to wrap that around my bun as well and pin it down with a bobby pin. And now this portion I'm going to spray down with a lot of hairspray. And I'll give this a few minutes to completely dry. All right, it has all dried, so now it is time to remove the clips again. Now if you have a few pieces still sticking up here and there, like I have one right here, you can just take one of these hairpins, just a simple little hairpin, and gently slide it in there in one of the waves. To kind of force it down to your head. All right then, so after the whole thing has been hairsprayed and done, this is the finished result. We have a really pretty faux finger wave going on down the side, and then a nice little simple chignon in the back. It's a nice and sleek hairstyle. A little bit of something different for me. <laughs> you guys know I prefer my messier, kind of more casual boho hairstyles, but I feel like a sleeker hairstyle like this, one that you put a little bit more effort into, is really nice for the holidays. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There will be another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays, guys. Very, very Merry Christmas. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.